New at 6, taking a stand, Lisa Abraham was a 30-year-old reporter in Warren when in 1994 she was ordered to jail after refusing to testify in a public corruption case. Today, 27 First News anchor Stan Boney talked with Abraham to find out if she has any regrets. I spent part of my afternoon here at Kent State University talking with Lisa Abraham, who is a writer in the University Communications and Marketing Department. But 25 years ago, Lisa Abraham was a reporter for the Warren Tribune Chronicle. And 25 years ago, this past Monday, she was released from the Trumbull County Jail after having spent 22 days in jail for refusing to testify before a Trumbull County grand jury investigating a corruption case against then Trumbull County engineer James Fiorenzo. Yes. Now this was when, when I went, was going over to jail and that was like the coldest day of the year. I sat with Lisa Abraham in her office going through news stories detailing her time in jail, her days in court, being taken away in handcuffs, being frisked as an inmate, and hugging former reporter Amy Radinovic, for which she was later criticized because it made her look too happy. 25 years later, Abraham has no regrets. I'm glad I did what I did. I stood up for what I thought was right. Uh, I still think um, more than ever, reporters need to be uh, stand up for their rights. The, the media is just in a horrible place these days. She's now part of a group of 15 journalists called the Birdies, short for jailbirds, who spent time in jail for not revealing information or sources. They want the federal government to pass a law protecting journalists for having to testify about their stories. Lisa Abraham went on to have a full career in journalism. She worked at newspapers in Toledo, Akron, and Columbus. In fact, it wasn't until the last year or so that she took over that position here at Kent State. She is a graduate of Niles McKinley High School and still lives in Warren. At Kent State University, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.